what's going on guys ek9 here bringing you guys another video so as you guys can see ea has dropped some new cards they released some new hut champions cards with a 97 jonathan druin i'm telling you guys he looks unreal we're going to take a closer look at this card in a little bit but they also released 95 milan lucic we got 94 scotty g 94 lanny mcdonald i'm telling you guys that looks like another really good card i remember when i had his 90 overall i thought the card was phenomenal so imagine a four overall increase plus more synergies uh 93 belfour we got 93 jake muzzin kevin lowe colton perrieco chris kunitz uh cammy ward got noah dobson and uh dimitri uh afensankov I, I don't know if i said that right guys but gonna try gonna go with that uh they did release some new flashback cards as well uh so we got sergey borowski we got jordan Stahl, brandon dubinsky uh victor arvidsson ole levy and uh ludwig bystrom so some decent cards there especially with the spongebob there back in his philly days which is a long time ago uh, they also released some new prime time. So 96 Drew Doughty. They got 94 uh, Travis Konechny, 93 Ryan Ellis, 91 uh, RNH, and some other decent cards as well, including my boy Logan Couture. Uh, some less overall prime time as well, some 83s here. But yeah, guys, um, I wanted to show you how we're doing so far in these tournaments for next week's giveaways. But uh, I got to say, it's been a little shaky so far, but trying to hold on and get some momentum going so in our game world championships we're doing pretty good 4-0 so far so perfect record as of right now but it's the other tournament that we're playing in that we are struggling a little bit in and let me know what your guys thoughts on this are do you guys think if any of you are playing in both the world championships and in hut champions do you guys notice a change in gameplay i find the the gaming world championships a lot smoother gameplay wise so as you guys can see we're three and two in the hut champions and the opponents weren't necessarily better. It's just I, I feel like the gameplay is a lot sloppier in Hut Champions than they are, it is in the Gaming World Championships. I, I could be completely wrong, but let me know your guys' thoughts on that because I've been having a little bit of trouble in Champions, but we've been doing pretty good in the Gaming World Championships. Even last week, we went 17-8, and eight, which is pretty decent for us. So um, not too sure on that, but let me know your thoughts on that, guys, because I definitely felt that there was a bit of a, a difference. So we'll take a look at that Drew in here. Like I said, we were gonna do. I gotta tell you, he looks sexy. Like it looks, he he looks unreal right here, and uh, he's got two to TK, two to X, two to TN. So some decent synergies. 99 Excel, 99 Endurance, 99 Speed, 99 Agility. Uh, he's got two, both 97 to a slap shot. So he's got 98 wrist shot accuracy, 96 power. So that's a really good shot on that card as well. Uh, his face offs are pretty low. I'd use him on the wing. I know he is a center, but I would move him to the right side if I were, if I were playing. Uh, he's got 99 deking, 99 hand eye, 99 passing, 99 puck control. So he's got really, really good stats with uh, puck movement. So he's really good hands. 98 offense awareness. So he's going to be really uh, quick to noticing those offensive plays. Very good on defense as well with the 94 defense awareness. He's got very good discipline. So not going to take a lot of penalties. This card looks phenomenal, guys. He looks like a dream team card. Like he's almost I know he's a ninety seven, but he he's almost as good as those ninety eight Hut Champs cards rather than the synergies. Um they also released Milan Lucic as well. Lucic's card for ninety five isn't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Uh two to WC, two to BM, two to DK. 99 excel 99 speed so he's got good speed there's something he does have his his hitting is pretty good as well 99 but the shot kind of lacks an 87 accuracy 95 power uh it's as, as well as his wrist shot his his uh, shot's not the greatest deking's only an 88 uh passing's a 90 offense awareness lacks defense awareness lacks uh this car is going to be quick for you guys it's a it's a bigger player so he's going to be a bigger guy but he's got really good speed but rather than that he is not the strongest looking card i, I he's going for like 300k 400k i would not buy this card if i were any of you guys but that's just my personal opinion i think he's got some decent stats but i and he's got good speed but i mean all around it's not as uh you could definitely get a much better card for that price especially a more offensively gifted card and uh we'll look at a couple others so we'll look at that lanny mcdonald and we'll look at the gomez i think that's it for today uh, Lanny here, he's got 93 Excel, 93 Speed, he's got 94 Slapshot, 
uh, 95 wrist shot, 93 deking, 95 offense awareness, 93 defense awareness. Uh, he's got a little bit less speed than the Lucic, but he does have better shooting and deking as well. So I, 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 and especially offense awareness and stuff, it's another big perk to Pelani. I had his 90 overall card, like I said earlier. And he was he was spectacular. I thought it was a phenomenal card. I, I didn't want to get rid of him. It's just the synergies weren't working out. If I could get the chance to get that 94 Lanny, I'd definitely take him at any time. He's, he's phenomenal. Uh, one of the best cards in the game. I might end up getting him eventually because I need to get rid of that Jack Eichel. Um, he could be a player I could consider getting eventually, guys. But he's decent. I If you guys don't like... Uh, I don't know how you guys play, but I, I really like his puck movement abilities. He's very, his Deking says 93, but he, he feels very strong on the puck, guys. He's really, uh, really agile as well, and he can make a lot of good plays. Like I said, I had his 90, and I can only imagine a 94. Uh, I sure, I, if you guys look at my old videos, you guys can see the stats I had with that 90 overall card, and he was just a beauty for me, so... And uh, we'll, go, we'll end it here with Scotty Gomez, another good card I liked from a few years ago. So uh, he's got 95 Excel, he's got 95 speed, 95 agility, his uh, slap shot 93 accuracy, 97 power, 97 power, 92 accuracy for his wrist shot, 99 deking, 96 passing, hand ice pretty good as well, face offs 98, like that's a really good card to have, 98 offense awareness, 96 defense awareness as well, discipline's pretty high, strength is pretty high. This card looks all around like it's a pretty decent card to have. He's got pretty decent stats. I'm not sure what his price is going for right now, but I'd say, guys, if you guys need like a second, third liner, even if, if you guys have enough coins, definitely a decent card to get. I'm not sure how he compares to all the other cards. I haven't been playing a lot of Chell, but just based off the way this card is and his synergies, he's got two to SP as well. Uh, it looks like a really, really good card to have. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Have you guys pulled any of these guys? Uh, have you guys used any of them? Let me know your thoughts on them. Let me know your thoughts on the designs as well, because I know that the the uh, series cards here, um, the main one, the uh, the main chance here, their design looks sick. But I think these ones look pretty cool too. I really like the background that they use, and I like the template as well. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys, or any general questions that you have. Um, I also have a giveaway that we're doing. So last video I posted, we have four giveaways currently going on. If you guys want to check that out, all you guys have to do is look at the last video that I posted. I will leave a link in the description for that. And all you guys have to do is like the video, let, uh, drop a comment saying that you want to be entered and make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. I have a big giveaway coming up at 400 subs. We're at 320 right now. Let's see if we can get some more here. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. See you guys soon.